Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul video and this is a charity shop haul. Now I'm really, really happy that the charity shops in my area have opened back up again since lockdown. We have one that is literally about 20 minutes from my house and it's a donation centre so it's like a really big shop and they sell things really, really cheap. We always get some really good bargains in there. That was one of the first charity shops to open. So we popped down there, had a little look and found some really good bits. I also went to my local little town. Um, most of the charity shops there have closed down, which is like such a shame because it's one of the places that I like to just pop in with Elsie and have a little mooch about. But yeah, most of them are gone, but there was a few open and I found a few little bits in there and I'm going to show you what I found. So being a charity shop haul, everything is a little bit muddled. We have got such a variety of items. I've got some homeware bits, I've got some toys and books for Elsie, some clothing, just like lots of different things. So I'm trying not to go too mad because I've had a massive clear up probably like everyone has through lockdown and I've like donated loads of bits as so I didn't want to like bring loads of stuff back into the house. But so the things I have picked up are things that I like really thought were worth bringing home. So the first two things are something that I feature in pretty much all my charity shop hauls. It's something I actually look for when I go to charity shops because I'm not really willing to pay full price for them and they are Orchard Toys Games. So I found these two um, this time round. This one is Shopping This Game. I think I may already have one of these stored away in the loft for Elsie and I just haven't got it out. But this one was only a pound. Since I've bought this, she has played it so many times i didn't think she'd get how to do it but she gets it she plays it with us and she always does want to play it so yeah i picked that one up for a pound um these are usually about five six pound new but yeah so that one for one pound and then this one that i picked up was an absolute bargain this one was also one pound um i didn't look at it properly because good thing about getting orchard toys games from a charity shop if there are bits missing if you go into orchard toys website you can order like missing parts as well so if you pick it up cheap and there is parts missing you're not going to like you haven't wasted your money so yeah this one was one pound it's the alphabet lotto and this is brand new um like i said i didn't look at it properly got it home i've taken it out the box to play with lte and it's like all intact all the cards are still attached to their like outer bits i don't really know how to explain it but yeah it's brand new and then looked on the bottom and i think you see that but it said it was 10.99 retail so one pound for that was really really good bargain super super happy about this one Another thing that I always feature and I always pick up in charity shops are books for LC. I will not pay full price for a book. I say that and I bought her some full price books for her birthday. So another thing I always feature and I always look for in charity shops are books for LC. She reads books all the time and then she kind of goes off books. So I don't like paying full price for them. The first two I picked up were just these Peppa Pig books. Yes, we're into the Peppa Pig stage. So they're just bald books. Um, we've got Fire Engine and Pepper's Washing Day. These ones were 50p each. Another reason I don't like paying full price for books or like character things is because they go in and out of like liking characters and TV programs so quickly. So if you can find like their favourite TV character things in the charity shop, it saves you loads and loads of money. And then I've picked up these two books. This one, Peace at Last, I think is quite a classic book. I had this as a child um, and this one was so I have like 20 or 50p I'm not too sure because I kind of like did a little bundle price of books when I bought them but yeah so I've got peace at last and then I picked up this one because I remember these Alfie books and it's a Christmas book and I absolutely love Christmas so this is Alfie's Christmas and it just looks really like classic and pretty and it looks brand new so yeah I'm going to enjoy reading that to Elsie at Christmas and that one like I said probably was about 50p as well. So if you watch my what I got Elsie for her second birthday video you'll know that I'm trying to steer away from like plastic flashy toys for her and I want to get more like wooden classic toys and a great place um, to look for them is charity shops. People are always donating kids toys and like being wooden I can just wipe them down and they're like good to go and I know they're all fine. So another thing I found for her were these baskets of blocks. They are just multicolored blocks with different shapes on them, different sizes. Some have got like balls in them and bells and all that. 
and these were a pound for the whole box these are originally from the early learning center they did come in a box but i've just put them in this little basket for elsie to reach easily so talking of the baskets this is one of the baskets i did pick up in the charity shop so it came with this size one which is absolutely huge and then they've kind of got smaller kind of like a stacking doll thing and this was one of them they're all inside each other like this and i think i picked these up for two pound for six of these baskets i wasn't sure what i was going to do with them but i really like the style and this is kind of the style that i want to kind of do the house in now i've been using these for elsie's toy storage and like you can, can see it works out absolutely perfect and they're like really easy for her to grab out of her little ikea calyx system and um reach her toys and yeah like two pound for six of these is an absolute bargain i know i say that about everything but these are really quite expensive in shops because it's kind of like trending right now so yeah always look in charity shops for things like wicker baskets and storage boxes because there's always so many and they're always super cheap another little home thing i picked up was this little rose gold wire pot this is actually for taya they had loads i think someone must have got rid of like a massive bundle they had like paper trays and magazine storage but she just wanted this just to go on her little bedside cabinet to put like her pens and things in and this one was a pound if you've watched any of my previous charity shop hauls you will see i picked up one of these before and i was really happy of it and i found another one and it's a cath kitson divider play now we had last time a pink one with floral patterns on and it was only a pound and then i found this robot one some might say it's more like for boys but it's a plate like it doesn't really matter what it's got on it and this one was also a pound um and i just really like these Elsie being a toddler likes her food kind of separated she eats better if it's like that so this is really good for lunchtime to do her like little picky lunches um yeah and this one like I said was a pound the other one that we had before Taya sat on it don't even ask how and it completely snapped in half I was absolutely gutted so I was thrilled when I found another one of these I didn't think I would so yeah just picked up that one too the last things I'm going to show you are clothing items the charity shop we go to, like I said, is a donation centre and they have like a massive clothing bit and they're always super cheap. They're never priced, but when you go up to the till, you get like absolute bargains. So first thing I picked up were these for Elsie. So they're a little pair of navy blue Converse. They are in brilliant condition. I've just wiped them down um, and these were only a pound. So like, see what I mean? It's just really, really cheap. They're in a size six, which is the next size up from what she's in now. And for a pound, I was not going to leave these behind. I also picked her up this little white blouse. This is from Zara. We have like loads of little blouses just to tuck into bloomers and to wear with leggings and things. This is two to three years, so it will fit her pretty soon. It'll be fine tucked in, I suppose. Um, and this one was 50p and then I picked her up this cardigan from Sainsbury's I thought it'd be perfect for autumn winter I'm really into these like musty colors at the minute I love the detailing on the arms and down the front this one is in one and a half to two years and this was just a pound and then I picked up a few bits of clothing for myself and Taya. Now, the thing with Taya, she used to hate charity shops. She would say, never ever buy me clothes from charity shops. I'll never wear them. And then since like lockdown ended, she'd be coming for walks with me. And she walked to a charity shop, charity shop with me the other day. And she kind of had a look at the clothes. And now she's like a convert. She loves having a little rummage and finding loads of little bargains. She's got actually a video up on her channel with what she found in the charity shop so go and check that out i'll link it in my description box down below so one of the items that she found was a dress from misguided so it's this beautiful white dress so it ties up at the neck here and i don't even know how to describe what this material is it's like kind of a chiffon material so it's sheer here and it's lined underneath it's absolutely beautiful it's so hard to show on here but she picked this one up and this one was only one pound or one pound fifty um and it's absolutely beautiful and like i said from misguided so be a lot more if you bought it new that's the first thing she found and then the next thing is something i found for her and it, it is this chunky cardigan from top shop this one i think was either pound one pound fifty like i said it's super cheap in my charity shop so it's a like 
oversized baggy slouchy cardigan it buttons down with poppers so you can wear it open or done up as a kind of jumper it's a little bit cropped but yeah she absolutely loves this and this is perfect obviously for autumn winter um yeah so go and check out her channel to see what else she found and what else she picked up something i picked up either for myself or taya once i've washed it and tried it on i will decide to see what the fit's like was this little top from asos so it's kind of like the dress i showed you for taya it's in that same material with this same kind of um like pattern on it so it's really sheer it's really flowy i just really love this i think if you put like a little um like cami vest underneath and then wear this with a nice pair of jeans it just makes like a day outfit look a little bit dressier this one was two pound the last thing i picked up for myself was this coat from top shop this one is a size 10 and i didn't think it would fit me because i usually get my coats in like a 12 to 14 to be a little bit bigger but it is a really nice fit so as you can see it's in this like tan camel color it pops um poppers up like this it's got the gold zip pockets um yeah it's super thick super heavy i have a gray coat like this last year from primark and i was umming and ah in buying this color one but i didn't um get it so i was super happy to find this in the charity shop like i said things aren't priced in there so i thought this would probably be like 10 pound around that mark um took it to the till and i said how much do you want for the coat one pound fifty so that just that came home with me straight away and I absolutely love this. It's perfect for autumn winter. This is like my bargain of the week. So that was everything I picked up. I'm sure there are a few other bits that are probably floating about. Like I've got bits for Elsie and she kind of just takes them straight away and plays with them and puts them away. I would definitely go and check out your charity shops now if you're looking for a bargain. People have been having like massive clear outs through lockdown and the charity shops are full. I go once a week to my local one, like the donation centre down the road. And I think they're just rotating and putting new stuff out all the time. I think they've got a massive backlog and they're just trying to get rid of it all. So things are quite cheap as well because they just kind of want to sell it all and get their money. So yes, definitely check out your charity shops. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next video.